Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. I hope that each and every one of you will be doing great. So this is lecture number 11. In the previous lecture, uh, I have discussed about the environmental impacts and challenges will be discussed in this lecture. I have discussed in the uh, environmental impacts of uh, renewable energies which uh, included wind, solar, geothermal, biomass for electricity, hydroelectric and hydro kinetic energy. So now we will uh, discuss about the supply challenges. Uh, the first one is that it is widely uh, dispersed for instance uh, if I talk about wind energy the wind energy is not uh, always uh, available because at some time wind is stopped to blow and at some times there is a wind storm similarly if I talk about the solar energy the intensity of the sun varies throughout the day also it varies through different places for example uh, for instance uh, at some places the uh, there is solar more solar energy and at some places the uh, sun is not shining with the same in intensity and uh, the next one is the intermittent or the variable nature for example if clouds come the uh, intensity of the sunlight will uh, be reduced significantly the fourth one is the low efficiency uh, for example uh, the ener wind energy or the solar energy they have quite low effic efficiencies the next one is the huge capital loss because of the uh, lower efficiency rates uh, for instance uh, solar power uh, plant will uh, solar cell will produce a uh, very small amount of uh, power well, let's say one or two watt per cell so we have to make arrays of uh, solar cell to increase the surface area so the larger surface area which increase the capital cost and also the area required to implement the solar plant now let's uh, discuss it in detail the first one is the wide this widely dispersed nature the energy density of uh, renewable energy technologies is uh, low as compared to the fossil fuel based technology so it is mandatory to acquire large areas for adequate uh, power output when measured using methods uh, that are available in today's world uh, the solar energy for example has a density of 1.5 microjoules per cubic meter over uh, 20 uh, quadrillion times that is 20 quadrillion times less as compared to oil similarly human energy for example is uh, said to have a density of approximately 1000 joules per meter cube while other inexhaustible uh, uh, energy sources like wind and tidal energy have energy densities of 0 0.5 to 50 joules per meter cube Similar power output achievable in smaller sizes as compared to the 
uh, renewable sources are the fossil fuels which provide much larger power densities or energy density uh, robert uh, w shiger uh, power plant coal in usa has a 35520 megawatt capacity and it occupies 3500 acres of land whereas if we compare it with solar power plant 1 megawatt solar power plant requires 100,000 square feet or 2.5 acre so if we want uh, if we do a little uh, conversion that we want to build a three thousand five hundred and twenty megawatt uh, solar power plant it would require a significant amount of uh, surface area uh, that is calculated to about eighty eight hundred acre the solar energy when it reaches our atmosphere the density of the solar radiation is approximately 1368 watts per meter square then due to earth's environment the energy density when it reaches the earth's surface it is reduced to about 1000 watt per meter square that is for the surface that is uh, literally perpendicular to the sun sun rays at sea level on a clear day if the weather is cloudy or it is raining or it has it is uh, significantly a, a dark day the energy density will be significantly reduced The next one is the premature technology. The technologies for harvesting energy from fossil fuels are well developed and quite mature and they have higher efficiencies as compared to the uh, renewables. But there is quite a uh, little or no room for improvement the technologies for harnessing uh, energy from renewable energies are not uh, advanced enough the utilization of blockchain for example uh, and other automation technologies make renewable self optimizing increasing their efficiency solar and wind are already more efficient and cost effective than uh, conventional sources and evolving technologies will continue to improve uh, their price and performance uh, uh, with the passage of time with the passage of time uh, the renewable energy sources and their harnessing technologies will be uh, significantly improved modification implemented to existing technologies will also uh, uh, increase their efficiency so there is a lot of improvement uh, uh, in uh, renewable energy sources uh, harnessing process uh, there has been uh, a research that has published been published recently and they have determined that annual temporal improvement rest of the cost of renewable energy in uh, different domains for example uh, the percentage improvement of solar is documented to about nine uh, percent and wind turbine is about 2.9 percent the uh, improvement uh, in the batteries is about 3.11% and the capacitors have significantly improved to 21.1%.
technic uh, uh, technical uh, progress theories uh, are related to uh, differing uh, performance improvement rates also patents have been published in the domain uh, that have been used to uh, test the uh, hypothesis the uh, portion of important patents and new knowledge uh, have uh, driven the human population to drive uh, towards the higher improvement rates of the uh, harnessing uh, technologies that are uh, related to renewable energy. Next, uh, I will discuss about the uh, intermittency and variability that is associated with the energy flow rates uh, and uh, intermittent means that the rate of flow of uh, energy uh, varies uh, randomly uh, there may be high variations in magnitude at any level the example is wind for example wind uh, speed record for 15 minutes as average value of wind in those 15 minutes and uh, uh, first it may vary a lot during those 15 minutes it may change its direction it may completely stop and other things um, that are associated with it also uh, there are problems with the storage or the conversion control techniques that must be uh, employed for uh, constant and stable supply for instance uh, if uh, we are uh, generating some electricity uh, using the solar power plants or the wind turbines the amount of uh, electricity will vary depending upon the sunlight if we are uh, using these uh, photovoltaic cells or so, uh, solar cells to produce electricity on the other hand uh, it might also produce variable amount of electricity if uh, we are using wind turbines and wind is uh, not uh, blowing at a uh, constant speed so uh, we have to use some storage or conversion or control techniques in order to get smooth uh, power de delivery so what is done is it, uh, it is basi uh, basically uh, we add uh, some batteries um, that act as a storage tank and store that electrical energy and the problem with uh, this is that uh, when we uh, include batteries in our system uh, the cost of the overall system is uh, relatively increased. So, this is the example of wind, wind speed in meters per second. These are the spikes, uh, spikes of uh, all wind speeds. And this is the uh, chart from 2004 to 2011 and this is a chart of uh, 2006 from 2006 to 2007 this chart is basically expanded uh, from 2006 to 2007 and it is uh, on X scale it is time in months january february march april may june july august and up to december and now this has been uh, further extended from uh, in the form of month that this is the month of february and the dates are from 14 february 2006 to 21st February and the wind is constantly changing its speed 
similarly this one is the graph that is ex, uh, extended from expanded from uh, july uh, and july 22 to july 29 and this is the variability in speed that is being recorded in meters per second at which the wind has been blowing so this is the chart of wind direction and this is the chart of wind speed and with changing time this is 11 of 5 and it is uh, 12 23 uh, with varying uh, time it is changing its direction and it is not keeping its speed constant neither its direction constant see so next i will uh, discuss about the low efficiency rate 